Today, I'm gonna to show you some of the cheapest things to do in Las Vegas. As time goes by, it just seems like everything is going up from food, drinks, hotels, and even attractions. Now, I've already done videos on cheap food and drinks, but now it's time to highlight some activities that won't break the bank. And to make the challenge more interesting, everything I'm doing today is gonna to be under $20. Believe me, yes, it is possible. So we're here at the very first attraction of this list of cheapest things to do and this is the Neon Museum which sits right at the $20 mark. So this is located just a few minutes north of downtown Las Vegas. If you've never seen it or heard of it before, this is basically a boneyard for a whole bunch of signs that are not in use anymore. A lot of them do still work and some do not work at all and will not light up. A lot of the signs that are here in the boneyard are from hotels that are no longer running, but there are a few signs here from properties that are still open, but they just retired the sign. Now they do offer both daytime and nighttime tickets. However though, if you wanna stay under that $20, then you're gonna wanna come during the daytime, but the night time ticket is $25 so just $5 more so it's not even a big deal. Now if you're just kind of walking around by yourself you're probably going to be here maybe 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't really take that long to walk around but they also do have another option where you take a guided tour. That one I believe is about 45 minutes and it's only $8 more per person. So if you do take the guided tour yes it's going to be $28 more than the 20 but I mean I think $8 more is not bad at all. Now the hours to come here are always very seasonally so make sure you always check their website because it depends very much on the weather. You guys have to come check these out. Look how huge they are, oh my God. Now the really cool thing about this one right here, the Moulin Rouge, this was designed by Betty Willis, which is the same designer of the Las Vegas sign that's over right by Mandalay Bay. And if you ever are willing to spend more than $20 on an attraction, definitely come at night because this is definitely one that you have to see. It's really beautiful, very vibrant, and very pink. Oh, and look, we have the plaza right here. So this is one of the ones that still does work, as you guys can see, but it's also from a hotel that is still open, but this is just one of their retired signs. Oh, and then same with the Palms. So of course, this one is open as well, and I believe this is their newest sign also, but they're getting signs all the time, so you never know what else is gonna come through here. Now, this one right here is my favorite because not only is it the oldest sign here in the Boneyard, but it has all my favorite things, cocktails, steak, and chicken. I mean, who doesn't love all that, right? And then if you've already seen my channel before, you might have seen me mention this, but this right here is the school from the Treasure Island. And if you look up the Neon Museum, like on Google Maps, and then you put it to terrain, I believe, um, and you zoom in, you can actually see it from the top. So I don't know, kind of like a cool thing to check out on your phone. And you also gotta come and take a picture with the iconic Stardust sign, which Stardust was demolished and now Resorts World is there. Both bittersweet, cause we miss the Stardust, but I love Resorts World too. Oh, <laughs> and then we have the Hard Rock Cafe guitar right here, which uh, Hard Rock's gonna take over the Mirage soon. So, hmm. but it's still beautiful. It's still beautiful, still come take a picture. So now we're here at the Springs Preserve. So this is just off the strip, only about three miles away from downtown. And this place is huge. I mean, just take a look at this map right here. So they have so much to offer. They have trails, they have museums, they have a train ride, they have a state museum, they have a waterworks exhibit, a Springs amphitheater, a botanical garden, and even a butterfly garden. So this place, of course, is under that $20 mark. For adults, it's $19. Children is 11, and then kids two and under are free. And then as Nevada residents, we did get a discount as well. And this place is great for families, so something to do for all ages. It's train time! So yes, that's how big this place is. They need a train just to get people around. Let's go in the front. Let's go. Welcome to Boomtown, everyone. So now we're in Boomtown. So this is a recreated city of Nevada in 1905, and it's like the cutest thing ever. We have a bank replica here. We have houses. We have the Arizona Club, a theater. Yeah, I would say this is definitely worth to come check out. And the train ride was only like five minutes, so not too far at all. Oh, and even a hotel. I wonder if there's slot machines in there yet. What? 
this looks like you can get married here. This is nice. I mean, I don't know if you can get married here or not, but that's what it looks like. Now, I did mention that there is a butterfly habitat, but just beware, it is for a short period of time during kind of like more of that springtime. So right there it says April 6th through May 27th. So if you're gonna be here, gotta come. Man, this place is really full of so many stages. It's like a, like a coliseum in a way. Is it? Is it still in there? Oh, there it is. Oh, hell to the no. <laughs> oh, there's a spider right here. <gasps> no. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> a black widow. Oh, dear. Oh, I see it. Oh, my nachos. Two of them. No, thank you. <laughs> yes. Lydia's favorite snakes. <laughs> there it is. Probably my favorite part of the whole place. Oh, let's see how far I can. <laughs> Is this how far you can jump? Oh my God. Oh no, I have to stand right here. Ready to not be impressed? <laughs> yeah. So a little better than a fox. <laughs> He's like, what's up? The perks of being short. Comment below and be real. How many of y'all could come under here? He's right there, guys. Oh, he's so pretty. That's my uh, jumping competitor right there. You're funny too. <laughs> it's like we're at the spaghetti factory all of a sudden. <laughs> Comment below if you got that. I think this is definitely worth it because you're not gonna spend a whole lot to bring you know your whole family and you have a good time to kill here. It's definitely because we're off the strip. We're at my favorite, Area 15. So if you guys haven't been there, it is wild in there. It looks like you're stepping into a future and there's so much to do. There's a lot of places to eat, drink, so many activities and attractions. And a lot of them are under that $20 mark. So there is a couple that I want to show you in here and we're still going to keep with the order. We're going to go from most expensive to least expensive. So the first one I'm going to do here is called Haley's Comet. It's basically kind of like a zip line and you just sit down and grab on. It's actually a very peaceful ride, and it's really nice because you get to see all of Area 15. Yay, that was fun. <laughs> awesome! I have had my fair share of zip lines I've ridden, and this one is so calming. You can't control the speed on the handle yourself, but I don't know, this is one of my favorites. And again, you get to see all of Area 15 and all its cool lights, which by the way, they just installed new lights. Now it's really a party in here. So the next attraction we're gonna do here at Area 15 is Wink World. Now, I would say this is probably one of my favorites here to do. And if you're only gonna do one attraction, I'd say do this one, it's really amazing. So once you go in there, you're gonna go through several different rooms. You're in each room about maybe four to five minutes and the music kind of goes to like the shapes and the movement. I don't know, you'll see, it's really cool. And this one's only gonna cost you $18, so not too bad. And they have so much crazy art right here on the way to the ride. For us, us short You guys can see very psychedelic experience and I think we went through like maybe five rooms. All of them have different tempos, different music, different vibes. Definitely one to check out. So we're not leaving, we just have to go outside for the next attraction.
So out of the three that I'm showing you today, lift up is actually the cheapest. It's $15 to get on this ride. What? That's a great price. I tell you, all of Area 15 feels like a rave. So if you haven't heard of lift up, it's kind of like a ride that lifts you up into the air, very slowly, of course. And then everybody has their own seat. You strap in and then you go, I don't know how tall that is. I would say like five floors. And then you go up into the air and you get a really nice view of Las Vegas. And then also, if you wanted to, you can actually buy a drink at the bar and take it on the ride with you. We're gonna get high. I mean, we're gonna go high. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can bring your phone, you just put it on this thing. We're going to... So we're 115 feet up in the air and the whole ride itself takes about 10 to 15 minutes just depending. But yeah, you can really see everything from up here. I mean, you can see the full strip, you can see pretty much all of Las Vegas, the mountains, all the traffic. I would say if you are afraid of heights, this is kind of a cool one to come and test it out because you are safe. You're very safe up here and even though you're spinning, it's really slow. It's so cool. I like it. Dude, how crazy, for $15, Damn. this is amazing. We're going down now. Now all these activities we just did were under $20, but Area 15 also does have some meals called the Experience Pass, where they start at $49, and this first one has six attractions and experiences. So check this out, you can do Asylum, Lift Off, Particle Quest, Brainstorm, Museum Fiasco, and Wink World. All for $49, that's definitely gonna be way less than $20 per attraction. And that's just access level one. They have a total of four going up in range, going up to $99 for 11 attraction experiences, $124 for 12, and that includes Omega Mart. And if you really just wanna do everything, they have one for $250, and that's gonna basically include everything, and you can do it over a span of three days. So now you can do Area 15 on a budget. We're going to the drive-in. Can we get a two for imaginary? Thank you. Let's go. So we're finally in our spot. So another cheap thing to do here is to go to the drive-in and a lot of people don't know that we have a drive-in here in Las Vegas. I would say this is probably about maybe 10, 15 minutes from downtown. So a little bit more in the North Las Vegas area. And it looks like they do have about six different screens with so many different types of movies. Like they do have the most up-to-date movies, but sometimes they'll do play some classics as well. So as you guys saw, so for two people, it was $17. So $8.50 per person way definitely under the $20 mark. This has been here for quite a while and I've actually seen quite a few changes be done today. Like this used to be all dirt and finally it's all pavement. So right before the movie starts, uh, I say let's go get some snacks. <laughs> you can tell from right here all the other movies that are playing. Cool, they even have a little playground right here for kids. So right now, we're gonna do this little special that they gave us, a free small fountain soda when you purchase a personal pizza, Monday to Thursday only. The personal pizza, $7.50. <laughs> Leaving the lights on for now. It was exactly $7.50 for these two. That included tax. Pepperoni pizza. Ah! How cute is that? Ooh, that actually looks good, right? Like it looks like it has a really nice char to the cheese, even to the pepperonis. Yeah, it kind of seemed here like the prices over at the concession stands were a lot cheaper than going to a regular movie theater. That's actually really good. No, approved for sure. And what a great deal. Buy a pizza and you get your drink for free. All right, let's enjoy the movie now. Okay, so the movie that we're watching right now, um, a scary one so we bought tickets for the imaginary and um i don't know it just looked really scary so i feel like watching a scary movie has its pros and cons because i watch the happening here by myself in my own car and i personally was scared 
when it started happening. But the good thing is that you have control of how loud it is. So especially when you're going to watch like a scary movie and there's, there's like those like the jump scares, um, you can kind of control it and have it like low, you know? So um, we might be watching this on low. And yeah, I think this place is great. Like if you want to come with your family, come on a date. I mean, kids prices are pretty cheap here too. And um, I am not telling you to do this. However, though, I in the past have come here. I did sneak in my own pizza in uh, my trunk and all that. Not confirming or denying, but could be done. And yeah, when the weather gets a little bit more hotter here, I mean, people just come, they bring their lawn chairs, they sit out here on the pavement, and it's like another really nice way to watch a movie. The only thing is, of course, if you're watching a movie that's a little bit more on like the darker side, meaning like it's just, it's dark, you're not gonna have the best quality, honestly, but I mean, you're paying a lot less. Like if you guys can see, Kung Fu Panda looks super bright all the way from over here. But I totally don't mind. I think it's such a wonderful experience to come on over to the drive-in. And did I say it was cheap? Oh my god, mm -mm. nope. Sorry guys, I couldn't do the scary movie. I came to watch Kung Fu Panda instead. So we are finally here at the last location of the list and this is the cheapest one out of everything and that is Pinball Hall of Fame. It's a little different because yes, it is free to just walk in, but once you're inside, then that's when you go ahead and you start playing the games. And you can have games anywhere from like a quarter, 50 cents, all the way to a dollar or more. So obviously, of course, it depends on you on how much you want to spend. All right, let's see how much we can spend here. So this place is massive. I don't think I've ever seen a place with this many pinball machines. And they also do have plenty others. I mean, they have racing games, they have my favorite ski ball, they have table hockey. It's just so much that you're definitely gonna find something you like here. This place is all ages, but you're gonna see so many different types of people. I mean, you're gonna see families, you're gonna see people on dates, even adults of all ages just playing here by themselves. It's game time. So like I said, they do have different machines that cost different prices. Uh, the really old ones, those are gonna be the cheapest ones. Where'd it go? Oh, yes. This is one of the 25 cent ones. I didn't say I was great at it. One quarter and it's already on like the sixth ball. That's cool, still going. Okay, now it's over. Yeah, I swear I probably got about like eight different tries just with one quarter. Yeah, I would make a, not a very good first date impression here. Oh, see, this one only gave me what, like three balls, so. Okay, they're all different. Let's go play a more advanced one. Yeah, so see this one, it looks like it's 75 cents. This one is cool, it definitely looks more futuristic. Ooh. Ah! Okay, yeah, see? The handles out of this one are a lot smoother. What in the hell? Getting all these extra quirks uh, definitely is going to cost you more. I need more money. I found it. So I've shown this on my video before, but this is my most favorite thing here in the entire Pinball Hall of Fame. It's not even a game. It's literally just a relax -la re relax -a relax a later. <laughs> I don't know. It just like shakes your feet. Oh shit. Ah! It's great, you know, for like those days, you're just walking out on the strip for miles. This definitely helps. <laughs> okay, doesn't last too long, but I love it. And it's only 25 cents. You gotta try it. Again, they do have other games besides pinball. So now I say we play my favorite game, which is skee-ball. <laughs> oh, it gave me four tickets. Oh man, so it says I need 10 tickets to win a piece of candy. I only got four. I wonder if I can do it. Dang it, I only got four tickets. I can't give up, guys. I need that piece of candy. One more round. Nice. What? 
What? You guys saw that? Oh my God. They only gave me four tickets, but that's okay. I'm getting my candy. Worth it. So see you guys, this place can be fun. You can have fun for cheap here in Las Vegas. Come on over and make some memories and even maybe get some candy. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment below. What's your favorite cheap thing to do in Las Vegas? That's under $20. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Ah, sour. <laughs> Wait, what? That's kind of lame. Sorry. <laughs> Loopers. Yeah. Here, and they also do have all the. Uh. <laughs> Ow! That came back at me. Ha. So this one is basically just like a zip line. Sorry. So we have one more attraction we, oh wait, no, sorry. Let's do it again, sorry. <laughs> so if you hadn't heard of lift off, it's like an, <laughs> how would I call it? We're gonna hey guys, get. hold down where you're buckled and we gotta redo seat belts. So this is 115 feet high and, oh, <laughs> the train. Now I've already done videos on cheap food and drinks, but now it's time to highlight some activities that will not break your wallet. Break your wallet? <laughs> okay. This has been here for quite a while and they've done many improvements. Like all this before used to be all dirt, but thankfully now they went ahead and put, um, what's it called? Concrete? So right before the movie starts, uh, I say let's go get some snacks. Shit. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Let's enjoy the movie now. <laughs> I don't know. No. The only thing though, of course, is that if you're watching a movie that's a little bit more like on the darker side, um, you know, you're not gonna get the best quality, but I mean, it's okay. I mean, you're spending a lot more or less money. What? 